is John Paul Rai. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I'm covering celebrity news, pop culture, stuff like that. Once in a while, Meghan Markle. And this article I found kind of interesting, a little bit funny, maybe even comedy. Might as well start doing comedy around here because some of these issues and some of these themes that come up end up being pretty funny. Now, here's the thing. Seems like Meghan Markle wants to get back into acting and it seems like she wants to play some kind of a superhero role. I guess like maybe Captain Marvel or Mera or some crazy super powered invincible superhero. Well, it doesn't work for me because she wasn't really an actress in the first place. Okay, she had a part on a TV series, which is just a very low level thing. I haven't seen it. I can't say how good she is. I'm gonna guess mediocre, like a little bit better than Amber Heard, maybe. And speaking about Amber Heard, you know, maybe Meghan Markle could fill the role of Mera. That'd be weird. She'd definitely sell more tickets on the whole, but she'd definitely turn some people away as well. Anyway, let's take a look at this article. It's from Geo News. It's called Meghan Markle reportedly eyed Hollywood return in superhero film. Meghan Markle stepped away from acting in order to marry Prince Harry and integrate into the royal family. Right. So she said she was getting away from acting. Seems like once she got fame and money, she didn't really care about it anymore. But now, like I said, like two days ago or something like that, she's searching for things to do. She's just like, you know, throwing crap against the wall, seeing what sticks basically. So she figures, eh, not going so good with money, with what I'm trying to do with these projects here. So let me try acting again. Maybe now that I'm famous, now everyone knows who I am, I can get an acting job, one of these easy gigs acting like a superhero and just getting millions for it. Following the Duchess of Sussex's marriage to Prince Harry, she had stepped away from her acting duties and since worked with the royals to support them in their charity initiatives. Not really sure acting is a duty, quite a weird choice of words, but okay. However, that seems to have changed as a source told Mail on Sunday early in 2020 that Meghan is not only looking to return to acting, but also to play the role of a superhero as her agent, Nick Collins, is scouting potential roles for her. Good luck, Nick. Not a dream job, and I'm gonna assume whatever she's in, if she lands a role, will not do so great. Especially as a superhero. I just don't imagine Meghan Markle is passionate or has read comics a lot, and she loves superheroes. Seems like a statement, seems like a moneymaker, it's just out of left field. I heard that Megan had gone back on saying that she's not going back to doing acting, the source said. He has said she wants her return to acting to be part of an assembled cast in something like a superhero film. He's actively seeking such a movie for her. He's saying she is available and open for the best offers. No shit. I mean, it's just a ploy for easy money. Obviously, she's open for offers. Megan is planning a series of meetings in Hollywood. She has already done the voiceover for Disney and now word is out that she's looking for a superhero film as a voiceover or even on screen. Alright, I mean voiceover is more reasonable. If she got a voiceover job with a name change, that would be best. But voiceover, obviously better than on screen. There you have it. They did mention TV. Not a feature film, but either or, I'm thinking, whatever she could get a contract for money for an easy job with some kind of role where she could politicize it and, you know, have her messages get out there. I don't think she's an artist. I don't think she's got a creative bone in her body. Not from what I've seen. Same thing with Harry. It doesn't seem like he claims to anyway. So, you know, this is just one more piece of evidence like I've been saying here, that they're just trying to do whatever they can and use that fame and that name to make money and have something stick. And they're not actually people who really deserve to have the money to be in the position. They're just really average Joes. Anyway, you guys, of course, 
Let me know what you think down below. Let's do some shout outs. Shout out to Calling a Spade a Spade on Twitter, who's also Zach here, so thank you so much for the support. Shout out to Laura B on Twitter, thank you for the support here. Shout out to Lotus Flower, who sends me so many articles, really appreciate it. Shout out to Carla Ellis, who also sends me articles, appreciate it. And shout out to Severus, also on Twitter, who sent me an article about Manson that I used, and I forgot to give them a shout out last week, so there you are, thank you very much. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it, doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that, pop culture, that first heard, little Malin Manson once in a while, whatever comes up that's interesting. And if you're not subscribed and you don't and you've considered it and you still don't subscribe, I guess I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.